Hi, so this is my project, Magnetic Compass Errors by Matt Fry. So magnetic compass errors, there are a few of them, um, and they all affect the compass a different way. Uh, variation, the first one, uh, this error is caused by the difference in magnetic north and true north. So this is... When you're going to go do your flight plan, you want to know the difference between magnetic north and true north because magnetic north is not the same as true north. True north is the north pole and south pole kind of reference. Magnetic north is a little bit different because magnetic north isn't on the north pole. Um, so because of that, we have to adjust our heading based on our magnetic heading based on that. So the solution, the way we fix this error is with the selectional or the sectional lines called isogonic lines. They depict how much you should add or subtract from your course. So east it's subtract and west it's add. So right where we are, you can see kind of here in Oregon, we're a little bit east. So we would actually subtract. And what we normally do here, we're right around the 15, uh, 15 degrees east. Um, so it's pretty strong. So we subtract 15. Uh, the next one is deviation. So deviation is caused by the magnetic instruments of the plane affecting the compass heading because they have their own magnetic fields. So the magnetic compass runs off of the magnetic fields of the earth and the magnetic instruments in our plane have their own magnets inside of them and they can actually throw off our compass so each plane has a card uh, you can read a solution there in the plane there's a magnetic compass card that you should use to adjust your heading so it does not so it does not get off by a few degrees so this is our card here. So you can see for north, we're gonna steer actually zero, zero, 002 instead of zero, zero, zero. Um, that's because of the certain instruments in the cockpit. So magnetic dip, uh, the compass card dips toward the pole that it's closest to. So you can kind of see that in this picture here. So these are flipped, of course. Um, so you can see this one coming across right into here so the magnet so our compass will actually follow these courses and um they can uh so the dips towards these as it gets steeper and steeper to the north pole it'll get steeper and steeper the angle of the actual dip so the compass can sit like will sit as you get further and further up, it'll start to creep and creep and creep up. As you get up to the north ones, it's almost like vertical. So in order to adjust this, um, we take uh, a weight and we put it on the uh, opposite side. So in the northern hemisphere, since it dips towards the north, we're going to put that on the south side or the south part of the actual compass itself so that it'll card will sit like this inside the, um, or it'll sit actually kind of at a slant because it's dipping towards the thing. And then we put a weight on the back and then it'll actually level itself out. Just pretty simple and for kind of interesting um, problem. So acceleration and deceleration. This error happens when the plane is accelerating or decelerating. The compass card will turn towards either north or south. So the plane, the card will actually spin around in that compass. And when you're accelerating, it'll spin towards the north. And when you're decelerating, it'll spin back towards the south. Um, you can kind of remember this by an easy acronym. Uh, ANDS is what I use, accelerate north, decelerate south. Um, pretty easy, just kind of a weird problem. When you're accelerating, taking off, you'll kind of see this problem. Or when you're coming into land, it'll sometimes it won't read correctly. Turning error. This is when the plane is turning either from the north or south heading. The compass will either turn the opposite direction for the first, then correct the other way for a north heading. As for when turning from a south heading, the compass will turn at a rate that fast to actual. So remember the acronym NOS: North, Opposite, South, Exaggerated. Um, yeah. So when it's, you're turning in from a certain turn.